a girl survived a near-fatal car accident, homelessness, and a corporate takeover to become the CEO of a Fortune 500 company. This is the story of Karen Lynch, who is the president of CVS Health Foundation, a Fortune 500 company that operates thousands of pharmacies and healthcare clinics across the United States. Lynch was born in Ware, Massachusetts, in 1963. She faced poverty from the very beginning of her life. Her mother died by suicide when she was 12 years old. She was raised by her aunt. Karen experienced homelessness in her teenage years but remained strong. Lynch was a bright and determined child. She excelled in school and was accepted to Boston College, where she studied pharmacy. After graduating from college, she worked as a pharmacy technician for several years. In 1990, she joined CVS as a regional manager. In 2008, CVS merged with Caremark, a pharmacy benefit manager. Lynch was named president of CVS Caremark. She played a key role in integrating the two companies. In 2017, Karen was appointed CEO of CVS Health. She has faced a number of challenges during her tenure, including the opioid crisis, the COVID-19 pandemic, and the rising cost of healthcare. However, she has also significantly improved the company's performance. She was a woman in a male-dominated industry. The healthcare industry is still male-dominated, and Lynch faced challenges as a woman trying to climb the corporate ladder. She had to work harder than her male counterparts to prove herself. She often had to deal with sexism and discrimination. When Link became CEO of CVS Health Foundation, the healthcare industry was undergoing a period of rapid change. The Affordable Care Act had been passed, and the industry was moving towards value-based care. Lynch had to navigate these changes and lead CVS Health through a period of transformation. The COVID-19 pandemic was a major challenge for CVS Health, and Lynch was responsible for the company's response. Where many people questioned the efficiency of the vaccines. She had to make difficult decisions about how to keep stores open, how to distribute vaccines, and how to protect employees. However, she has always emerged stronger from these challenges. She is a skilled negotiator and able to build consensus among different stakeholders. Under Lynch's leadership, CVS Health has expanded its healthcare offerings. The company now offers a variety of services, including pharmacy, retail, and healthcare delivery. CVS Health has also become a leader in the fight against the opioid crisis. The company has invested in programs to prevent opioid addiction and to help people who are addicted get the treatment they need. The journey was never easy, she faced multiple challenges throughout her career. In the Karen era, CVS Health has been involved in a number of controversies and scandals over the years. In 2020, CVS agreed to pay $2 million to the federal government to settle allegations that it had violated the civil monetary penalties law by improperly rejecting, denying, or reducing claims for dual eligible federal health care program beneficiaries. In 2021, a jury found CVS and other drugstore chains liable for the deaths of two people who died of overdoses after being prescribed opioids from CVS. In 2022, CVS was rocked by a sexual harassment scandal that led to the firing of several executives. The scandal began when an anonymous employee reported that a New Jersey regional manager had been harassing and inappropriately touching female employees. CVS launched an internal investigation, which substantiated the allegations. The manager was fired, as were several of his superiors who were accused of failing to take the allegation seriously. In March 2022, CVS was accused of price gouging for COVID-19 tests. The company was accused of charging up to $19.99 for a single test when the same test was available for as low as $4.99 at other retailers. CVS denied the allegations but agreed to lower its prices. Despite these challenges, Karen has achieved great success in her career. Her journey to the top was like something out of a movie. In 2022, CVS Health's revenue was $322.5 billion with a profit of $4.15 billion. As of March 8, 2023, CVS Health's market capitalization is $95.75 billion. Lynch's salary as CEO of CVS Health is $3.8 million per year. She also owns over 430,000 shares of CVS Health stock, which are currently worth about $32 million. She is known for her strategic vision, her ability to build strong teams, and her commitment to customer service. Lynch is a strong advocate for women in business.
She is a member of the Board of Directors of the National Retail Federation and the Women's Business Council. She is also a mentor to young women who are interested in a career in business.